New Day's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooecourtofaustralia.com. Now, former US President Donald Trump has been indicted to face criminal charges, but I want to mainly focus on uh, his co-conspirators, Lachlan Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, and their media organisation in the US, Fox News. Well, let's have a quick overview of Donald Trump and the criminal charges he's going to be indicted on, or he has been indicted on, and possible other charges he might face in the near future. Now, the indictment is in relation to a payment to Stormy Daniel, the porn star, for her to stay silent before the uh, 2016 election. Apparently he had a sexual relationship with her, which he denies. But he's facing charges, exact charges that they haven't released yet, and next Tuesday apparently hand himself in. But there's a number of other charges, another number of other uh, grand juries that are afoot. Grand juries investigate uh, potential criminal charges, then recommend whether the person should be charged or not. And he's got a number of others out there, outstanding in the US, one for inciting the 2021 January 6th riots or insurrection or attack on the White House, whatever you want to call it. Another one where he rang the governor of Georgia, trying to find an extra 11,000 votes in the 2020 presidential election, trying to rig that election there. Then there's another grand jury for him having uh, confidential uh, documents or classified documents at his house in Mar-a-Lago in the Florida. And apparently there's a fourth grand jury afoot in New York in relation to him and his company. So the indictment that's just been announced today where he's going to hand himself in next Tuesday is probably the first domino on a whole heap of charges, I suspect. And Donald Trump and his good mate Rupert Murdoch would have thought they were untouchable. But now uh, it's been proven that Donald Trump isn't untouchable. I think uh, Rupert Murdoch and his son Lachlan Murdoch should be having a good look at themselves because they could be next. Because a lot of the evidence has been coming out in the last couple of weeks or last couple of months in relation to the Minion defamation case, who are suing uh, Fox News for defamation, claiming they uh, helped rig the election, Dominion voting system, that is, helped rig the 2020 presidential election. Uh, has shown that uh, Rupert Murdoch and his son Lachlan Murdoch were well aware they were promoting lies, which ultimately helped blame the January 6th insurrection. So if Donald Trump ultimately ends up facing criminal charges for inciting the January 6th, 2021 uh, riots, insurrection, like I said, whatever you want to call it, the attack on the White House, well, Donald, uh, well, Rupert Murdoch and Lachlan Murdoch and their company Fox News and Fox Corp, the parent company, could also be facing criminal charges. Now, I'll be publishing an article on my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, tomorrow, 1st of April, uh, 2023. So make sure you visit my website and you'll be able to read that uh, with further information. And Kangaroo Court of Australia is independent media. I publish a YouTube channel, website, Facebook page and Twitter account. So please support me on Patreon or PayPal. You can donate any amount, you know, $3, $5, $10, $15, $20 a month, whatever suits your budget. Most people can afford $3 or $5 a month and it all helps out. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.